Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Thursday, the 17th of December. Starting off with uh, AFC Energy, just purely because there's been another gap to the upside after yesterday's massive gap, gap rather, through resistance. Uh, the old resistance around 41 pence, so uh, nestling around 45 yesterday and 50 today. We were looking for 60p, which uh, this rate could be seen uh, uh, before Christmas. Uh, but uh, anyway, it was an end of month uh, target there around 60 pence and... Uh, I suppose if we get to that level, then we'll have to revise uh, the uh, upside scenario. Uh, 60 pence on, on song uh, for uh, AFC while we hold above uh, 45 pence, uh, uh, or 45 and a half pence, I suppose, yesterday's resistance for the shares, which is the bottom of uh, the gap left today. On to uh, another stock, which has uh, exceeded expectations and uh, proved that uh, charting can work well sometimes. Uh, Argo blockchain obviously soaring with uh, uh, the price of uh, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, which uh, the mainstream media have decided now that uh, it's actually a fantastic thing rather than the uh, devil incarnate, which it was uh, just a, a few years ago. Uh, rising trend channel here from July heading towards 18 or even 19 pence uh, now. And uh, that target valid at least while we hold above the floor of the overnight gap uh, at uh, 12 and a half pence uh, which uh, is also, I suppose, the uh, November resistance areas as well. As well, so above twelve and a half, looking for as high as nineteen now. Hopefully, over the next two to four weeks at Argo Blockchain. Uh, next stock, uh, normally quite satisfying in the sense that, uh, despite uh, all the bear attacks on the company, uh, the shares have uh, one. Well, firstly, they managed to stabilise around the five pence level uh, in the post-September period, which was a plus point. And uh, secondly, they've managed to gap higher today through the 50-day moving average, which is one of our uh, more reliable signals, technical signals, and also through that line of resistance from August uh, around uh, the six and a quarter pence level. While we're above six and a quarter, looking for the top of the August trend channel as high as nine pence, and hopefully uh, with the gap this time, the gap higher, uh, that would suggest that uh, the bears are caught short and the shares will uh, f have some follow through. I think the turning point for me, though, was that candle there on the uh, 4th of December. That was a very solid candle uh, from support and did suggest that uh, uh, a floor was in place for the shares, even though there was a bit of dithering after that, even after that particular move. Uh, next up, the stock, which I think uh, almost 9 out of 10 people on uh, tw FinTwit have been trying to call up higher this morning. I think the idea is uh, been a bit slightly slow uh, for Echo Energy. Uh, Probably one would have expected uh, 0.6 or even 0.7 maybe by the uh, the end of the day. But I think we're sort of in a more quiet pre-Christmas period, so the move has been slightly less. The other point to note is that you've got that uh, July resistance line there around 0.47. Uh, that had to be cleared, as uh, did the uh, initial 0.49 uh, resistance of uh, uh, December. But uh, basically for me, the... The, the stock was on its way with the multiple uh, days resting on the 50-day line. That's uh, normally a pr pretty good uh, signal. And also the fact that we've turned around from uh, an exhaustion gap, uh, an exhaustion bear trap uh, that we had at the turn of the month. And so basically once uh, we were resting on the 50-day line, the likelihood was we'd head higher and also head towards the top of that rising trend channel uh, from August, uh, pr promising around the 0.7 pence level, hopefully as soon as the end of August next month. Uh, stop loss at the moment and end of day close back below 0.4 which I presume most observers are not expecting to happen now. Uh, on, on to Falcon Oil and Gas. Uh, oil and Gas stocks obviously have been rather weak um, of late I suppose even with the, fa uh, the vaccine news last month they still haven't really uh, uh, pushed higher and they haven't even pushed higher even though Brent uh, has pushed higher too so that's a bit of a um, a conundrum, but uh, at least as far as the daily chart of Falcon is concerned, uh, we've had a break through the uh, October resistance line and the 200 day moving average at seven or rather eight pence. And uh, while there's no, well, given an end of day close above that, and while there's no end of day close back below that, we could head up towards as high as the top of the October triangle, broadening triangle on the daily chart at 14 pence. If you're cautious on the shares, maybe you wait for an end of day close through. Uh, the 50-day line at 8.9 pence, but really after that exhaustion bear trap uh, reversal that we've had there uh, at the end of November, echoing what we've seen at Echo Energy, uh, we should see uh, follow th decent follow-through for uh, Falcon shares. On to a stock which is uh, relatively obscure, but I uh, thought I'd have a uh, another go at uh, 
uh, trying to call up a, a, a sort of a, a, a tiddler. Uh, here we've had a bear trap uh, below, uh, from below the uh, 0.7 uh, floor of uh, October. Uh, went down to 0 0.6. So an end of day close back above 0.7 should be enough to get the shares not only back towards uh, the recent 8.8 .8 pence resistance for December, but also a broadening triangle top around 1.1 pence over the next one to two months while we remain above 0.6 pence. A uh, company which updated today with um, a gold deal uh, was Riverfort, and to probably uh, R Riverfort probably the one of the most strange or the strangest uh, daily charts around. Uh, we've got this rising trend channel from February, the beginning of the year. Shares have been above the 200-day uh, moving average at 0.78 all that time, which is normally a bullish sign. Support points coming in above that. Uh, probably just looking to see the shares break uh, 0.95 pence, which was the uh, November resistance. If we can do that, then uh, the target here, maybe for the first quarter of um, uh, 2021 would be up towards uh, 1.4 pence. So basically above 0.8 up to 1.4, the eventual target for a technical target for Riverfort. Uh, moving along to a stock which is uh, probably has as many fans as uh, Echo Energy at the moment, maybe more, uh, Rambler Metals and Mining with uh, all sorts of calls about how cheap the stock is, etc., etc., uh, here we've had a trend line break, uh, a break of the uh, October resistance line, the falling wedge around the uh, 0.25 level. So above that, we're in recovery mode. Uh, if you're sort of um, fussy about this, you'd wait for an end of day close above the initial December resistance at uh, 0.3 pence. But uh, otherwise, above 0.25, best case scenario target up to 0.5 or 0.6 of that uh, uh, broadening triangle, hopefully over the next one to two months. Uh, on to Safe Stay, which uh, has been uh, a recent, uh, uh, well, it's been sort of more of a recovery situation, but a rising trend channel there from September. Bounced uh, this week above the 50 day moving average at 35 pence. And uh, while we're above the 50 day line, looking for a top of September price channel target as high as 60 pence over the next month or so, obviously retesting September resistance itself. Uh, Starvest, one of the uh, heroes of the year, um, and uh, sort of done it without really having much uh, sort of um, private investor backing or vocal investor backing. But uh, here we've got a rising trend channel, uh, one that's been in place basically since the beginning of the year. Uh, the current trajectory, probably looking at something like uh, the lines I'm going to draw now. So a broadening triangle there from March, above 25 pence, looking to 35 pence, hopefully by the end of the month. Just a couple of situations to go now. The first one is uh, ScanCell, which uh, did well over the July to September period or October period. It looks like it's back again now. We've had this falling wedge consolidation above the 200-day moving average at 8.88 uh, pence, and also notably a bear trap rebound from below November of support, so 10.5 pence the low there, and uh, we went down towards 10.1 as the low for December. Uh, bullish divergence with that lower price low, not, uh, not matched by a lower RSI low, so that should uh, give us a reasonable punch to the upside. Uh, break or end of day close above 12 pence uh, uh, for the week uh, should be enough to uh, give us at least a retest of 16 pence uh, November resistance for early in uh, uh, January uh, next year, or even maybe by the end of this year, but uh, hopefully by early January up to 16 pence on Scancel. Obviously, the stop loss back below 10 pence. Finishing off with uh, Wood Boys, uh, which has been, uh, I think I looked at it uh, last month as well. That was it turned out to be a, a bear trap false dawn move, which was, wasn't very friendly. But uh, we've still got a rising trend channel from September, top of the channel heading towards three and three quarter pence. And uh, basically, if we can clear uh, the uh, two and a half pence area on a weekly close basis, i.e. The, the 50 day moving average, we should hopefully head up towards three and a half pence plus uh, over the January or February period uh, next year, early in the new year. That's it from me today. More updates tomorrow.